What's up, boys and girls? This is your boy, Curtis Miso, coming in hot with another video. Today, as you can tell by what we have in the background, we're doing a Bowman Chrome Rip, or Bowman Rip 2022. Uh, we actually got our hands on an entire case of jumbo hobby boxes. I can barely fit it on the camera, but we got a whole case here and we are ripping our first box for the year. Super excited. We haven't ripped any big hobby box of any sport in a long time. So super excited. And these Bowman boxes come with uh, three autos per, just a ton of cards, ton of Bowman prospects. Obviously looking for the Chrome prospects. Got the new Ray Wave uh, parallel this year. A lot of fun. It's pretty good rookie class. Got some really high-end guys like Khalil Watson uh, in here. I've already bought some singles of him, so I'm super excited to see if we can pull any of that. Um, in addition to a couple other guys that we are looking for as well. The guy in the Guardians that can just hit bombs. I think it's Vargas or something. Forgot his name. Uh, and James Wood as well. And a couple others that we're looking for. For me, Watson is really the main draw here and some super, super high-end prospect for the Marlins. Uh, really gotten into baseball lately. It's a lot of fun. The, what I like most about collecting cards is kind of trying to figure out who's going to be the next great one. Um, and baseball is really fun because you can get prospect cards of guys before they're even up in the majors. Uh, a little bit different than, than football where, and, and basketball where you're getting it. You know, you're getting involved in, in guys much later. Um, and because there's a lot of paper cards in these packs, I'm kind of leaning towards using scissors, um, which I know everyone hates, but I just don't want to ding corners. So um, here's what the cards look like. I think the cards are beautiful this year. Um, you'll see the chrome ones when they come out. They look a lot better. But some of the chrome parallels just look ridiculous. Uh, I'm already seeing a refractor. There's Jesse Winker, now a Mariner. But we'll go through the paper pretty quick because it's really all about the chrome. Um, you can get some decent numbered paper stuff. Um, here's some rookies. Nelson Cruz. Um, and here we're getting into some color. So that's actually just a insert rookie of the year favorites. Matt Manning. Pitchers are not what you're looking for. And there's a first auto. Trace Sweeney to 499 True Refractor. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty good one. And I'm just now realizing that I'm almost out of sleeves. But uh, for the Yankees, True Refractor Auto, definitely uh, one of the favorite, one of the more popular uh, parallels in this set. Um, looks pretty clean. A little bit of surface stuff. We'll see if that comes off. Um, it does. It, it's coming off. So this could be uh, a grading candidate. Um, that is really freaking nice. Uh, and we're going to get three of these in here. So let's just see. Number six Yankees prospect. How old is this kid? Uh, da, da, da. I, I remember reading about him, and I think uh, this is a solid, solid pull. Um, so that's awesome. Look at that. That looks, looks really cool. I think they look better than the draft, where it's got the full border around it this year. Um, whereas it's kind of got the nice... Uh, open edge for 2022. Uh, Soderstrom and Adley Reutschman, number one prospect overall. Um, no longer a prospect. No longer a first, though. Luciano, uh, another top prospect. <clears throat> no longer a first on that. Let's see here. How do I want to organize this? Let's put the hit up here so you can see it. There we go. Base rookies base chrome, and then just paper off to the side, Luciano. There's a first, not sure who that guy is. Uh, first rookie though, these are the ones that you're, um, so I'll put those up here. These are the, you know, the base cards that actually hold some value. And you're getting a lot of them per pack, which is cool. And then now we're into paper first rookies. Ramos, I think is a guy. I haven't, I probably should have done a little more research uh, before ripping in this box, but I have, there are certain guys that I'm definitely after, um, but not as familiar with with some of these guys as I should be, certainly. Um, 
but I am, and there's a Mariner, Victor Labrada, and Fidel Montero, Dustin Harris. So there's a first pack. So just a ton, a ton of rookies, ton of color, actually not a ton of color. There's no color in that, in that pack other than the uh, auto, which uh, true refractor definitely um, at the top of the list, among the top of the list for the parallels you want on an auto. So really, really excited about that. Just some base rookies. We can go through this pretty quick. O'Neill Cruz. Acuna. Um, O'Neill Cruz is a, is a top prospect. Bichette. Uh, Brandon Marsh insert, Brandon Davis insert, Brandon Davis insert, top 100 prospect. And so not on that pack and no color either. Now under the chrome. Oh, Harry Ford. That's my boy right there. Put that aside for myself. Um, first rookie. First rookie. Ellie De La Cruz. That is the number two guy for me. Um, forgot about him. The number two guy that I am looking for after Watson. Uh, and then probably Vargas third. And I need to find, I'm sorry about this, my sleeves because I ran out. Uh, here they go. These are bent, which is perfect. Just perfect. That's going to be fun trying to stick the cards into it. But uh, I will sleeve up Ellie. So there we go. Add that to the Sweeney. And then we're into paper. Uh, paper first. Austin Martin. Luciano. Jordan Walker, top prospect. And there's some color. Um, I will sleeve that because it's to 99. It is paper, though. Um, don't know much about this kid. It's about baseball. There's just a lot of players. Um, and a lot of guys you won't have heard of because they're, some of these guys are like 17 years old. Um, in the minor leagues. But that's what's kind of fun is you can get some of these guys' cards way early. And then watch them progress. <clears throat> so, let's see what we got. A bunch of paper, a couple rookies, paper, paper, Kalanick. Oh, man. Hope he turns it around. Freddie Freeman, him and Acuna feuding. Rookie of your favorites, Gavin Sheets. Bobby Witt. Number two overall prospect in most people's lists. Now playing in the league, Zach Veen. Just a chrome. Garrett Mitchell. Ian Lewis, Marlins. That was my boy. And that's it for the chrome. First. Richman. Arrow Vera. Preciado, and a couple more dudes, so not much to write home about there. And I think a lot of people are going to get pissed at me for using scissors, so I feel like I'm, maybe I'll stop that. I don't know. The Chrome, the Chrome card shouldn't really uh, be at risk of getting dinged corners, but you never know. There's another Marlin. There used to get so many freaking cards in these. Cal Raleigh for the Mariners. This is ludicrous. Um, I'm gonna have to do a little of that. Okay. Luis Robert. Juan Franco, rookie of the year favorite. C.J. Abrams got called up probably earlier than he should have. Robert Hassel just mashing in the minors. Might get called up soon. His cards are going to be going up for sure. Pedro Pineda. Um, Braylon Minier. 
Vasquez, pitcher, Bobby Witt, paper, and Dominguez, not sure if he's ever going to live up anything close to his potential. There's a Watson, but it's a, it's a paper, but I will set that aside. That is our first Watson sighting. Probably not worth a sleeve. And you can see the surface is, is already jacked up, but just leave it anyway. Um, that's the beauty of these jumbos. We just have so many packs still to go. Um, let's see if I can do this without scissors. So I don't get yelled at. Yeah, you can easily do it without scissors. These packs are really nice, actually, to rip. So I think that went reasonably well. Okay, Mookie, Vlad, a lot of paper. Some RCs, aren't gonna hold any value really, only these Bowman first. There's a Cappy on the Inception, or Invicta. Uh, that's why that pack felt a little thick. Um, so that's kind of cool. A little bit more rare on that one for the insert. Not gonna have a ton of value. Oh, this cursed ad is actually numbered to 125. Uh, really wish, you know, you don't really want to hit numbered cards on the inserts. Would love that to be a chrome rookie instead. <laughs> but that is to 125. So, all right. Uh, and then right after it, the same card in a base, which looks exactly the same. Oh no, this is actually a aqua-ish. Looks pretty damn similar. Okay. And that guy. That's not a first. <clears throat> Warming Bernabelle. I feel like I've heard of him. Curtis Mead with a sick print line. Uh, Matt Fraser. And paper. Paper, paper, paper. Ellie De La Cruz. De La Cruz is a big boy, a lot of power, massive upside. Um, how tall is this? Oh, 6'2". I thought he was bigger than that, but a um, lot of power. Um, interesting, interesting player. Watson's a smaller dude, but his swing is just ridiculous. He generates so much power. He could be... I think he's probably, he's certainly going to be the most popular guy out of the set and probably has the most upside as well from a talent standpoint. I am trying to get as much Watson as I can. <clears throat> Just go through this. Oh, those aren't. Kalanick again. All this all these base cards will donate to our local card shop who gives it to the kids. Bowman in 3D. Um, e all right, that's an interesting attempt at a card. Uh, Matos, a lot of people were, there's a Watson. A lot of people were buying Matos cards. Um, Julio, that's cool. Julio on the Chrome, that goes right into the PC. A lot of people were buying Watson cards um, in the off season, or not Watson. Um, what's his face? Who was I just talking about? Oh, Matos cards in the off season because he he did have a pretty good. Oh, and this is bad. This is an auto. Jose Rodriguez. It's not an auto. It's just a refractor to four ninety nine. Okay. Um. And Matos, a lot of people were starting to say, oh, maybe he's going to be better than uh, Luciano, who was the Giants' number one, or top prospect, um, because Matos had a pretty good last year. Elijah Tatis, that's another guy people are liking. Um, but Matos has come out just incredibly cold this year, and his cards have, have just taken a dump. So uh, we'll see if uh, Matos turns it around, but right now it's not looking... He's, he's not been keeping pace with what he did last year. Um, and these sleeves, they seem just a little gnarly. 
number 55 prospect in Rangers org. So this guy's deep down the list of prospects uh, for the Rangers. Um, so I'm going to try to find another pack of sleeves at risk of making this video even longer. Thick sleeves. Regular sleeves. My god. This is not good content. <sighs> Alright, fresh pack of sleeves. Here we go. <clears throat> We're already at 15 minutes. Probably gonna be bumping into half an hour. Still have two autos to go. Let's see what kind of heat we can find. I'm really happy with that first auto. I think that's pretty solid. <clears throat> go through the paper. Those are not first. Winker, now a Mariner. <clears throat> Some RCs. <clears throat> Show him. Henry Davis, top catcher prospect out of Pittsburgh, and he was in the Bowman draft. Cespedes. There's a Hassel. Interesting looking kid. Wrong pile. Uh, St. Quentin first. Peyton Wilson first. Oh my god, Cleo Watson backwards. Please be an auto. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Not an auto, but a purple lava to 250. Oh, that's a nice pull. This is a very, very solid box. That is a great card. Um, man, I thought that was an auto. That's going to go to PSA, most likely. This is probably raw, right? God, the card just looks so sick this year. So it's a purple lava. Look at that. Uh, to 250, that's probably, I mean, you haven't seen any comps yet, but raw, 350, paid for half the box, um, probably. So that plus the auto, this is a great box, just about paid for itself, um, which is, you know, not that not that common uh, generally with boxes. So this is a very very solid start. Love seeing a backwards Watson. Um, that's a beautiful sight. <clears throat> that's a beautiful sight. So we're starting off fresh. Just grab the box right at the top. Didn't didn't try to get cute. You would have seen me lose my mind if a Watson auto was pulled out of box number one. And this pack is just going to hell in a freaking hand basket. So um, I'm just going to perform some minor surgery here in the background real quick, if you don't mind. All right. Bruhan. You get some. Oh, Wander. You get so many cards in this stuff. Jonathan India, there's a Tatis. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. He's coming back soon. He's, he's coming on a rehab finally. Let's see if he can get back to his rookie of the year form a couple years later. Uh, okay, there's another Invicta. Not sure who that guy is. Oh, there's our other auto. Eduardo Vaughn. 299 Speckle Auto. Beautiful card. Perfect auto. Marcelo Mayer. Um, so let's leave that and then let's take a look. I'm not sure who that is. Um, there's not a lot of pitcher autos I heard in this set, which is a great thing. It's always nice to pull a Red Sox as well. A lot of fans. Um, a Red Sox. Uh, I'm just kidding. That didn't work either, so I'm just embarrassing myself on camera here. Um... So while I try to get this into the freaking sleeve and just destroy the corners in the process, um, let's just let's see if that worked. Yeah, okay. So let's see what we got here. Number 41 Red Sox prospect, blah, blah, blah. 
Five steals, tall. Uh, okay, so I don't know. Don't know much about him, um, but that's pretty good. That's a pretty good couple autos we've gotten so far. Um, I will say that. The Sweeney and then Eduardo Vaughn. Um, then we're into some chrome base. A lot of chrome. So no first in that pack, which is interesting. Um, and then put that in the wrong pile. Da, 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 da. Go through this really quick. There you go. So now we're on the last four. This is shaping up to be a very solid box. Definitely above average box. Anytime you hit a, one of the top five guys in a chrome numbered parallel, you're you're doing really well. Okay. So rookie base 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 Vlad. Uh rookies. Shohei. Vibrations. <laughs> Virtuosic vibrations on the Sweeney. He embraces aggressiveness. Da, 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 da. He's got a pronounced leg kick. Alright, he's a big kid at 6'4. Uh Preciado Abrams. Ah, Noelvi Marte. I didn't put his auto back there. I have one for the Mariners. That guy. A lot of firsts. Not a lot of the guys we want. Of course, we'll do some research after to see uh, if there's any top guys that I might have overlooked. And okay, three more packs. This is a blast, man. You just get so many freaking cards. So many chrome cards. Not a ton of color. But three autos is certainly an absolute treat. And there's another Wander. Paper. Kyle Lewis. that Watson was a freaking auto. I'm going to need to uh, get a Watson auto, even if I have to buy a single Brady House. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's a cool looking insert, even though that insert's not worth anything. They, I thought they did a pretty good job with that one. And there's an Elijah Tatis with a pr massive print line. The surface is just tattered and destroyed. Um, that's the, I don't even think I'll sleep that. It's so bad. Uh, okay. And I don't know if much about Elijah Tatis other than his name, last name's Tatis, which makes, <laughs> makes it kind of interesting. And maybe, I don't know if that's the only reason people are chasing him. <laughs> um, cause I didn't read about him as being a top prospect, but maybe just not on the, the stuff that I've been reading. Maybe he actually is. I don't know. All right, two packs to go. Let's see what else we can muster up. I'm trying to figure out how many of those boxes I want to rip. It's going to be tough not to rip them all. <laughs> um, we'll see. Blaze Jordan. Jordan Walker, third baseman. Power bat for the Cardinals. Austin Martin. That's a different Oz. There's two Austin Martins and one for the Blue Jays as well. There's another Blaze. Eduardo Lopez. I'd like to see a Varga, Vargas for the Guardians. Um, so our last pack's going to have our last auto in it. There's a Trey Sweeney. There's a Lawler. Been stacking up on his stuff. I'm going to be interested. Pedro Leon. Pulled some of him out of draft. I'll be interested to see. Uh, I forget what I was going to say. What will I be interested to see? 
Trey Sweeney, what his cards are going for. I know that's like, I don't think he's a top, top guy, but he's probably uh, certainly not a bad one to pull. And maybe he is a top, I mean, maybe top 10. I don't think he's a top five uh, guy in the product. Could be wrong. Would love to be wrong, actually. So last pack, last auto. Jordan Walk. Oh, okay, there it is. Jackenzie Noel base. So, um, yeah, that's the wrong guardian, I think, on that one. So I ended a little bit with a whimper, but that's okay. These cards are just a little bit thicker. They don't like to go into the sleeve. But, uh, yeah, he's got a, some great stats there in the minors. So that's probably not bad. Um, three non-pitcher autos. You'll take that every time. And then Dominguez. Oh, Dominguez. Don't know if he's even going to be a, above a league average player at his peak at this point. It's just not looking great. And the hype was always too high, but I'm definitely not buying any of him. His prices haven't come down enough. There's a James Wood. That's the guy we're looking for. And that's going to do it. So we can do a recap of the hits here, which um, I'm pretty excited about. Um, so our first hit, <laughs> the first pack, look at this. Trey Sweeney, True Refractor Auto. That's one I'll be probably grading and holding on to. Um, James Wood, Base Auto, and then a Speckle to $2.99, and Walter Eduardo Vaughn. Just, these are just sick cards. And then Khalil Watson, probably the most valuable card in the box to 250. Trey Sweeney might be worth similar, I'm not or more, I'm not sure. Um, but these three cards, uh, I would venture to guess, got close to covering the 750 cost of the box. Um, and then to 499, True Refractor of Rodriguez, uh, just a Khalil Watson uh, base. That's not even whatever. That's not even really a hit. Um, De La Cruz paper, De La Cruz base, Machado to 99 paper, Watson paper, and the Kerstad insert to 125. So happy with that box. Happy with that box. Definitely going to open at least one more. Uh, I know half of these boxes are Gibbies, so I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do. But that was a lot of fun. That was a good box. Uh, this is Curtis Miso. Under 30 minutes, signing off.